Hi. What are you doing? I am making blueberry balsamic glazed salmon. Yum. One, two, three, shaping this destiny. Okay, so let's get started. You're first going to need four salmon fillets. I have found some wonderful salmon fillets um, just at your local warehouse club. And we are, well, there's only two of us, so I'm only using three of these, and one of them was kind of large. So we're going to just kind of adapt that way. Um, also, you'll need blueberries. Blueberries, a half of a cup. We're going to give all the measurements in the video for you, so you, let's not worry about that right now. A little salt and pepper, balsamic vinegar, lemon juice, and a little bit of sugar. Okay. We also have lemon basil. Lemon basil is one of my favorite herbs because it does taste like lemon and it enhances a lot of things when you use lemon or when you use something that complements lemon. So. First thing we have to do is get this stuff off of the stem and chop it up. And then you just slice and get it nice and chopped. Bundle it again the other direction. Oh, I can smell the lemon. It smells good. So that's what we have right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. It will kind of uh, masticate a little bit and, you know, turn a little bit of a color, but that's okay. Set that aside. You just want it ready. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make our sauce. The sauce that we're making is a blueberry balsamic lemon scented kind of flavored sauce. It goes really, really well. I have had this before. It is delicious. So the first thing you do is take your pan, you just need a little saucepan. Um, I turn it on a little bit of a higher heat at first to heat it up, and then make sure you turn that down to a low medium to get that boil, you know, that little uh, simmer on. All we're going to do is we're going to add our blueberries. We're going to add our balsamic vinegar. Again, all the, all the uh, measurements are going to be on the video, so you'll be able to see those. Add your balsamic vinegar. You want to add your lemon juice. And about half of the salt that's called for. Okay. Now you want to go ahead and get this to a little bit of a, of a uh, simmer. I'm going to put in about, I'm going to say that's about two teaspoons of sugar and mix that around. You can use a utensil, but you really don't need one. So what I'm going to do is now that this is simmering, I'm going to turn it down to a medium low and let it start to simmer. And we're going to put some attention, once this is almost done, we're going to put some attention on the fillets. Okay, and we're going to broil those. So we will need to prepare the oven by setting that to a broil. We're only going to do like three or four minutes. And you want your oven rack to be six inches approximately from the top. Okay, so I've moved that up so you can uh, have it a little closer to the broiler. Okay, so we're going to take a little pause, get cleaned up a touch and I'll show you the next steps. The filet, we've got the filets here and we're gonna season those with the rest of the salt and pepper. Um, but if you've got the salmon filet here um, from a, a very good butcher or something like that, it's gonna have the skin on. We happen to have some we got uh, that have the skin off. So if it's skin on, you wanna put the skin face down or on, the, on towards the pan. 
Um, we've covered the pan with aluminum foil just to keep it from sticking. And we're just going to add a little bit of that salt and pepper mix on each one of these to give it a nice flavor. Okay. And then we're going to stir once again our berry mixture. Make sure that's doing its thing and not sticking or burning. We're going to let that go for about another four or five minutes. And then we're going to put these in the oven and I'll show you what we're doing with that. Okay, so we've got everything going. I'm going to check these blueberries real quick. And it looks like they're ready. They're nice and, uh, and uh, coagulating. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit the broiler. Turn that on high and start. It only takes a minute for that to heat up. And the salmon only needs to be in there for about three to four minutes, depending on how thick your salmon is. Um, you're going to turn those at a different point and do it for another three to five minutes. First, we want to go ahead and baste. So we've got this. I've turned it off. We're going to set the lid aside. And I have a wonderful little tool. It's a little rubber uh, brush, but you can use a spoon. You can use whatever you like. Um, and you just simply brush this over the salmon. Now, mind you, I'm dipping into this, so you don't want to reuse the extra stuff on other things because you can cross-contaminate with your fish. But it's all going in the oven, and that's all we care about. You just basically paint them. And we're not going to put any blueberries on it right now because we don't want them to burn. So we're going to set that aside. We have a nice basted uh, uh, salmon fillets with the blueberry sauce. And we're going to stick that in this oven in just a minute for three to four minutes on the first side. Thicker, longer. Dinner, shorter period of time, three to four minutes. Now, I think our boiler is ready. I feel the heat. I'm going to go ahead, first time, no glove, set it in there. Okay. And we're going to set the timer for three minutes. And we'll be right back and show you what that looks like. About ready. We um, have our broiler timer is just about ready to go off. We're going to pull these out. We're going to rebaste them. Since there's no skin, we're going to flip them over also. So here we go. We're going to listen. And there we go. So we're going to pull these out. And you'll see that's starting to kind of cook there. So we're going to go ahead and flip these over carefully. Good filet. You shouldn't have anything break or come off. It's a nice solid piece. It's already started cooking, but it's not cooked all the way through. And put that in the sink. And we're going to baste again. Okay. There's not a lot of juice in this. It's a very small, um, and this is okay. You get the berries, go ahead and put those, leave those on it. Um, it's a very small amount, so you should have just enough for three to four um, fillets. Okay. I'll save that. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these back in, in the broiler for three to five minutes. That's depending on how thick they are, how much you want them to be cooked. Some people like it a little more than others. Um, and we're just going to get going here. So hold on. So I'm going to do four minutes because that's somewhere in between. These are not that thick. I'm going to set those back into the broiler. Okay. Okay, so now we have those in. We've got four minutes. Plate, and what we're going to do is now we're going to plate and prepare our plates. Because when this comes out, it's going to be ready to go. So we are going to use some mixed greens. So just however you like it, make it nice and equitable there. I'm going to take some of this basil and just sprinkle into the salad so you get that flavor 
it's actually pretty important when you when you're cooking to carry flavors all the way through some of your other meals so if you have like a lemon flavor maybe bring that into some of your other side dishes and stuff for that same meal so we're going to add some tomatoes because one of our diners really likes tomatoes and I just kind of throw them on there haphazardly and then zest some lemon to get that flavor onto our salad. Okay, great. So we've got about 15 seconds left and we'll be able to pull our, uh, our salmon out. I've went ahead and done my salads, my little salads. We're gonna use some balsamic vinegar on there. Um, you may choose to use a lemon poppy seed, something like that that, that complements. Um, in the meanwhile, I did make some steamed broccoli and threw that on the plate as well because we like our grains. Pull this out. And we have our blueberry broiled salmon. Now, you test that by just checking the flakiness to make sure that it flakes. If you see that, it's still white, it nice and it's nice and flaky. You can hide that with a blueberry. Happy little mistakes, right? Um, and I'm gonna hold off and this is gonna be hot, so I'm gonna use a thing. Take this and we're just going to layer it right on the plate. Sprinkle the rest of your lemon basil and you have a lovely little dinner.